Welcome back to the channel. In this short video today, I will explain in a very simple way what is the meaning of SAP RISE or RISE with SAP. I have been hearing this term a lot since 2021 and at first I thought maybe it is a new SAP product or service that I can study and get certified in. And recently I had more time to explore in details what is the meaning of SAP RISE and I realized that it is not a product or a service. And before creating this video, I decided to check if my network on LinkedIn understand what is the meaning of SAP RISE. So I have created a poll and as of today, this poll has 699 votes out of which 31% believe that SAP RISE is an SAP product or a service. This is more than 200 people and most of them are related to SAP. So either SAP clients or SAP consultants. And this is not correct. By the end of this video, you will understand very well what is the meaning of SAP RISE. I'm sure this video will add a lot of value. Let's go. As I mentioned in the introduction, SAP RISE is not a product or a service, but it is a sales package. So it is a package that SAP created with different products and services to sell to the customers with one subscription which simplifies things a lot. SAP has created this package to solve the different issues faced by the customers when they decide to adopt SAP s hana with a big focus on mid-sized companies and startups with high potential because these types of customers face a lot of challenges when deciding to implement an ERP this big. So what are these issues and what are the components SAP RISE that can solve them? The first point, we know that the decision to implement SAP s hana is a huge strategic decision. It will cost us a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of effort. And we have to get this right from the first time. So before we start implementing SAP s hana it is very important that we are very well prepared as a company, as a customer. And one of the most important things we have to do is to organize and document in a very good way all our business processes. This will allow us to share these business processes with SAP to be sure that SAP s hana will satisfy all our business requirements. And documenting the business processes is a huge challenge. In big companies that have complicated business processes, most of the time we can find processes that are not documented at all, others that are not well documented, others that are outdated, and many other issues. And we can see the impact of this when someone leaves the company and he does a handover, and then the new person replacing him doesn't understand well what is he is supposed to do. This means that the business processes are not well documented. And in mid-sized companies and startups, we cannot even find any documented business processes most of the time because these companies prefer to spend their effort and resources on selling and growing their business and also because their business processes are evolving because they are still new companies. This is why most of the time they don't have well-documented business processes. The first component we have in SAP RISE to solve this issue is SAP Business Process Intelligence. This tool allows the companies to analyze and optimize their business processes and also allows them to do benchmarking. It allows them to compare their business processes against the processes of very successful companies in the same field. The second component is SAP SignaView. This is a tool from SAP that allows companies to properly document their business processes in a very structured layout with flow diagrams, with all the details, and it also has governance abilities. So for example, if someone creates a new business process or changes an existing one, this can trigger a workflow and ask for approvals from the people who are responsible for the business processes. We can hear a lot of talk about SAP SignaView currently. If you go to LinkedIn, if you follow any SAP community, SAP SignaView is everywhere. And also there is a free trial available from SAP to anyone who would like to try this tool so they can see how this can help in documenting the business processes. I will create a video about this topic later. So these are two components in SAP RISE that can help with the business processes. SAP Business Process Intelligence and SAP SignaView. The second point and the second challenge that customers face when they decide to implement SAP s hana is the hardware. We all know that SAP s hana requires huge hardware. So if we decide as a customer to host the servers in our own basement on-premise, it means that we need to invest a lot of money upfront to buy the hardware and also it means that we need to hire a full team of IT experts to evaluate the hardware we need, procure it, install it, and support it. This increases a lot the total cost of ownership of SAP s hana and also it adds a lot of complexity. And sometimes after we start the SAP project, we realize that we don't have enough hardware. 
I have seen this in projects and it causes a lot of delays because we have to ask for the hardware, receive it, install it, and then continue our project. To avoid all of this complexity and the cost related to the hardware, SAP RISE offers the SAP S4 HANA cloud version. This can either be public cloud or private cloud. The public cloud means that we are sharing the same environment with other clients, but of course our data is separate and protected, and this is the software as a service solution. While the private cloud means that we have our own environment, and this is called platform as a service, so the hardware services will all be provided by a hyperscaler, so either Amazon or Azure or Google, and then the software itself is managed by us as a company. So this is a hybrid solution between on-premise and the cloud, and it allows us to avoid all the issues related to the hardware. But the important point for me now is that using the cloud versions allows us to avoid the complexity related to hardware. Now that we have managed our business processes and also managed the complexity related to the hardware, the third point and the third challenge faced by customers who want to implement SAP S4 HANA is licenses. In the old days, in the standard scenario of implementing SAP on-premise, the customers used to buy the licenses by user type. So let's assume, for example, that SAP offers three types of users, professional user, intermediate user, and limited user. Professional is the most expensive, intermediate is less expensive, and limited is the least expensive. So the customers would go to SAP and ask for, for example, 10 professional users, 50 limited users, and 20 intermediate users. As time goes on and we use SAP as for HANA, we realize that we only need five professional users, not 10. In this case, we have five ideal users that we paid for, but we are not using. And then we realize that we also need to add additional limited users. There is no way for us to convert the professional user to a limited user. We will have to buy additional licenses for the limited users. This is no longer the case in SAP Rise because now the customer doesn't buy user types, but they buy a single unit that is called FUE, full usage equivalent. And this single unit can be allocated across the different user types freely as the customer wants. So for example, let's say that the professional user will cost one unit and the intermediate user will cost half a unit, 0.5, and the limited user will cost 0.2 units. So then it means that if we want to remove one professional user and convert it to limited users, we can do this. So we'll take one FUE from the professional users and we allocate it to five limited users. So this gives the customer the flexibility to allocate the licenses as needed and avoids the waste of money for unutilized licenses. The fourth point is related to the flexibility of SAP customization. We all hear that SAP doesn't allow the customers to customize the system a lot as they want. And this is not true. SAP has standard customization that should be able to cover all the business requirements of the customers in different industries. Remember that SAP has been in the market for a very long time and they have accumulated a lot of experience from the different customers in different industries. And normally the standard SAP customization should be able to cover all the requirements the customer asks for. But still, sometimes we receive requirements from the customers that are outside of the standard configuration. And here we should always try to negotiate and try to understand why do we have something that's different from all the experience that SAP has accumulated. And remember that we always have to upgrade our SAP system. And we always have the need also to add extra components like other solutions such as SCM or CRM. And the more we customize our system out of the standard, so the more we do enhancements or change the SAP code, the more complicated it will be to do any upgrades or to add any new components. I have seen companies that are not able to do upgrades at all because of the customizations they did. So it is very important to always align with the SAP standard configuration. SAP RISE offers a very important tool that's called SAP Business Technology Platform, B2P. This tool allows the customers to create their own extensions, their own customization, and their own applications to SAP S4 HANA without changing the customization of the core S4 HANA system. So this allows us to meet the extra customer requirements without touching the standard code and the standard configuration. So this way we keep a clean core S4HANA system that can be easily upgraded and integrated with other solutions. And at the same time, we have application extensions and customizations on SAP B2P. I am sure you heard a lot of talk about SAP B2P. It's mentioned in all SAP events and in any SAP community online. 
So hopefully now you understand what is this and I will also be creating other videos explaining this topic in detail. So far we have discussed the four points related to SAP RISE, the business process optimization, the hardware, the software, and the business technology platform. The fifth point is related to the system extensibility or the ability to add extra components on top of our core SAP s system so our ERP system can grow as our business grows. You can think about our ERP system as a Lego set. In the core, we have our SAP s system and then we can also add extra components to grow our ERP. For example, we can add CRM, SRM, Ariba, success factors and many other components. And this is very easy using SAP RISE because again, it is a package that is sold to the customer with many components already included so the customer can try all these different components and also it is easy to add extra components when we are using the cloud version of SAP S4 HANA. Now the sixth and last point I would like to mention about SAP RISE. You have seen throughout this video how complicated it can be to implement an SAP system. So there are a lot of decisions to be made, there are a lot of complexity, there are a lot of things to learn and the good thing is that when a customer opts in for SAP RISE they are supported by a team from SAP before, during, and after the implementation of SAP S4 HANA. And also they are included in a huge community of successful SAP customers and focus groups where they can discuss and learn from each other. I hope I was able to cover the most important points related to SAP RISE. There are more other interesting details and also more other components included in SAP RISE that I'll not be able to cover in one video. But let me tell you about two very efficient sources you can use to learn more details about this. The first source is an episode from the SCEP Experts podcast, which is a very interesting podcast that you should follow. You can find it on all the different podcasting platforms and also on Open SCEP. So in the episode 90, they discussed many details related to SCEP Rise and you should definitely check it out. The second source is a public presentation created by SCEP where they explain the meaning of full usage equivalent and also the different components included in SCEP RISE. I will leave you links to the two sources in the description of the video and I hope you find them useful. I will be looking forward to your comments. Tell me about your experience with SCEP RISE. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check the other videos and share the video with your connections. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.